Where am I? I've been in a nightmare for like two weeks. Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome back. Morgan is no longer BRBing. I am back. It has been a couple weeks. Um, a lot has happened since then, let me tell you that much. Feels like the, the entire world has like changed fundamentally, at least for me. Maybe not for you watching, but for me, like, it's been a wild past couple of weeks. So, if you are wondering, um, reason I took a break was because my fucking computer finally died. That thing has been chugging along for eight years, and it just one day, I, it like, reset randomly, and I couldn't turn it back on like it was on the machine had light but it was stuck on a permanent black screen and it wasn't my monitors because i'm using the same monitors now it was just shit did not work anymore um and i couldn't i like i'm not sure what the catalyst was but it was one of those things where I was like, after eight years, rather than, like, run around and be like, oh, maybe I could do this, or maybe I could do that, maybe I could do, like, I, like, I decided to get, like, a new computer, um, and I didn't do that by myself, um, I was very, I'm very grateful that, um, my friends helped me out on that, um, they probably made up about half of the money. Um, the rest was from my bank account, it was from my savings, um, and I'm very grateful that my friends donated, because otherwise I would've, like, had no money in the bank, and it would've fucking sucked. And the bank would probably be a little mad at me, being like, hey, why is, like, both your checking and savings, like, empty? So I'm very grateful that my friends, like, kind of helped me out in, like, a rough situation. Um, I'm also grateful Michael helped me out, too. Um, specifically, he was able to find the computer for cheaper. Um, I, I would have ended up having to get it for, like, nearly a thousand dollars. It was closer to, like, eight fifty, Which was, uh, you know, that hurt the wallet less. Um. So, the, the, the stream you're watching right now... Oh, my mic's peaking? Yeah, let me... For some reason, like, my mic became louder on this computer. How does this sound? It still looks like it's pretty loud. I don't know why, but, like, the new computer registers my microphone as, fa like, louder. Which is weird. Does this sound better? Um, but yeah. This is a new machine new computer uh it works fucking great and plays a lot more stuff than the old computer can so i think that going forward we're gonna kind of enter a golden age of streams i think you know a, a little bit late coming you know the buxathon was like six months ago and to be honest like the buxathon like i still have some money left over from that that probably helped um i do have a lot of those parts still i could not tell you if any of those specific parts are broken but theoretically if anything broke in this machine the buxathon parts are backups i that'll be nice you know if anything breaks in this i'll have some backups i mean i have like a i don't know how powerful those parts are compared to the ones i have in my machine right now Maybe if they're more powerful, I would consider, like, swapping it out. Thankfully, like, this is, like, this is just a computer I bought on Amazon, but it is, like, decently customizable. Although it's fucking small. Dude, I, like, my old computer was a big, bulky fucker. This one's pretty tiny. So I don't know if I could fit, like, the motherboard in there, to be fair. Um. But... I got my old hard drive set up on it, which is basically all I really needed. To be fair, if I lost, like, all the stuff on that old hard drive, that would've fucking sucked. Um, but that didn't happen. 
You might also notice new intro screen. Uh, I commissioned Michael this. Um, he was originally, like, he was gonna do it anyways. And then he was like, oh yeah, can you just say you paid me and then we move on? And I was like, dude, I have a job now. I will pay you. Like, that's one thing I'm also grateful to my friends for having donated for the computer. Because theoretically, like, after, like, maybe, like, three or four paychecks, I would have been able to afford the computer on my own. But man, that would have been like a fucking strain. Like just going like a couple weeks, like th those like three or four weeks, maybe even like a whole month without like a PC and just having to like be like, oh, I, oh, I hope my pay is good this week. Especially cause like part of what I used to buy the computer was my first paycheck. That first paycheck was like not much because it was just for my training days, which are less time than I work during the week. During the week, I've been working 28 hours. You know, it's part-time, it's part -time, it's not a full-time job. And it's also minimum wage, so it's not like I'm getting crazy money. But, I, like, especially that first week, like, I... I earned, like, basically, like, half of what I earn on a normal week. Um, so again, I'm very grateful to my friends. Um, I'm grateful to, like, Jen, Michael, Gino, Batty, I think Charlotte donated, I think Lily did, like, all of my friends, like, I have to, like, give a big thank you to, like, if any of them, like, hear this, thank you so fucking much. This would not be possible without you, and I was like, People will tell you I was in a bit of a panicky state when I was like, oh fuck, I don't have a fucking computer right now. Um, to the point where, like, I'm gonna apologize a little bit for this. I did, like, ask for donations in the Discord server before I had really realized, like, how much money was, like, you know, being spread around. And, like, I deleted that because I was like, that felt wrong. And, like, I do apologize. I, like, I wanted to keep it private anyways. I shouldn't have asked for, like, donations in the Discord server, to be honest. Because I didn't need that money. Nobody donated. I think I deleted it fast enough where nobody donated anyways. But I apologize for that. I was in, like, a fucking panicky state. And I didn't realize... That was, like, right before, like, Michael found me the computer for cheaper. And then I was like, no, wait, I could probably still do this, actually. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's about it. I've, uh, after buying the computer, I, you know, didn't spend anything for a week, but afterwards I have like, kind of like started going into like game collecting. I think I probably was like two weeks ago. I think, like, I got, like, I think that was right before my computer broke, I was like, oh, yeah, I could spend a little bit of money on old games, but now that I'm actually getting, like, paychecks, and I don't have to worry about, like, a giant financial burden, I'm like, you know what, yeah, let's go a little more into it. I actually just got new Super Mario Bros. 2 today. What else have I gotten? Uh, I got Wii Play Motion. And Wii Music, we're gonna be streaming those at the end of this week. So look forward to that. I got Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. So that's fun. We're definitely gonna do Secret Rings at some point. Um, what else have I ordered? I ordered Animal Crossing City Folk on the Wii. I wanna, like, play that. I wanna, like, put that in, like, my daily routine is play City Folk. Because I need, like, a good, like, daily game to play. And I feel like, you know what? I play the Wii a lot these days. I've actually probably been playing the Wii more than my Switch recently. Even though I fucking bought Live Alive. I, I used physical cash for that, like, the only dollars I had. And I, then I was like, I didn't even play it because I haven't finished Fire Emblem yet. Dog, I'm gonna be done with Live Alive, and then, like, Splatoon 3 is gonna come out, like, the next day, is what's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, but I ain't get to Xenoblade 3! I'm not even gonna get to Xenoblade 3! I haven't even finished Xenoblade 1, I played two hours of it. 
there's too many video games, man, and all I want, like, I keep wanting to play on the damn Wii. I got custom tracks working on Mario Kart, so it's, like, over. I've been playing some custom track GP, which we will be playing this week. I believe I scheduled that for Friday's stream. Speaking of, uh, before we start, I, this has been a long intro. I apologize. Um, real quick, upcoming streams. Um, tomorrow... We're gonna be doing a restream of A Hat in Time. This time, I will not be playing blind. I've I've played the game before, but we will be going for all time pieces. I was gonna go for a hundred percent, but then I remembered I don't care about Death Wish. Um, so we're just gonna do all time pieces. Think of it like a Mario sixty four playthrough, like when I did a hundred percent in that. It'll be closer to that. I'm not doing Death Wish because I uh, I have other games I would like to play. I don't want a hat in time to be like the the first time I played a hat in time it was like seven streams because my computer kept crashing during it. Because that was at a time when my computer was at like an all time low, that old one. It just kept fucking crashing. Um But this new computer can run it on high settings pretty good. You know, it was staying a consistent six K FPS, so I was just like Now's the time. I think if there was any time to replay a hat in time, it's now. Mike is still peeking. Hold on a sec. I moved it a little further away. Am I? Am, do I still sound like I'm peeking it? I don't know what's up with this microphone, man. It's just at like 50%? Oh, it must have been loud as fuck before. Jesus. Um. Sounds way better. Okay. I think I was just like too close to it before. Um. So yeah, tomorrow will be a hat in time. Not streaming Wednesday. Wednesday is my late day at work. Um. Thursday, we will be doing TF2. Because, again, that's another thing that my computer can run way better. We should be always getting 60 FPS in that. Although I stream at 30 anyways. 60 FPS would be too much of a strain on my internet, I think. Um, but TF2, I can run pretty good now. I don't have to run it at, like, extremely low shitty settings anymore. Um... Friday, we will be doing Mario Kart Wii Custom Track GP. And if you don't know what that is, basically, it's an online mod that was made by a couple of dudes. I forget their usernames off the top of my head, but it's like, uh, you get, like, a shit ton of, like, custom tracks that you can play online with other people. There's, like, 200 custom tracks in there. And there's, like, there's a, there, there's a niche community for it. Every time I've played it, I have been able to get players. It's not, like, a crazy amount. Like, I think, like, the highest amount of players I've seen thus far is, like, maybe 40 people. But it's fun. It's a nice little niche community, and I... I fucking love Mario Kart Wii, man. I've, like, taken the Mario Kart Wii pill. That shit is so fucking good. I still like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There's a lot of people who love Mario Kart Wii and do not like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I still like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I think that Mario Kart Wii now has the edge in my mind, having been able to play it online again. Um, and Saturday, we will be doing a Wii Power Hour. Uh, we will be doing Wii Music and Wii Play Motion. I got a Wii Motion Plus. So now I can play that. Also, no problem, Atticus. Uh, did you win the against the dragons? That's all that matters. Funky Kong meta is pretty funny, and, like, it's not even, like, a joke. Like, you go online, you'll see a ton of Funky Kongs. Kill them, let's go. Hype. But yeah, um, yeah, I just got the confirmation. They said, hey, your new Super Mario Brothers 2 package is here. I know, it's on my shelf already.
Um, but we can we can keep talking. Let's uh let's open the game though. <laughs> Did you guys know that I like stream video games? I don't just do like podcasts. This is a true fact about me. Um, I tell you, I didn't like, I didn't finish saying what I've bought recently. Um, so I got, I just got new Super Mario Brothers 2 in the mail. I ordered Animal Crossing, I said that. I ordered DKC Returns, which I want to play on stream. Absolutely. That's gotta happen. This title screen only runs at 30 FPS. I deleted my save file! I've played this game before. Fuck you, Steam. Fuck you. I thought it was supposed to be in the cloud. Fuck you. Come on. Fucking hell. All right. But I got, I'm getting DKC returns. I want to stream that because I've never played that game before. That's a new one for me. Honestly, like, Animal Crossing, I would- If I did get addicted to it, I would consider streaming that. It would be funny if I got more streams out of City Folk than New Horizons. I think I streamed New Horizons twice. Which is not indicative of how much time I spent in it. To be fair, I did spend, like, I think, like, 70 hours in New Horizons. Which is not, that's nothing to sneeze at, at least for me. I know people who played it for like 300 hours and were like, bro, this game is so short, there's like nothing to do. And I'm just like, you ran out of things to do in 300 hours? That's pretty good to me. <laughs> I ran out in 70 hours though, because I already, I already finished my house. And I built the grave for Aaron Hansen and that was all I needed. But yeah, here's Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, what else did I get? What else did I order? I ordered Final Fantasy VII Complete in Box. It was the ugly Greatest Hits version, but that's fine. There's Raiden. Let's go. security provider, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, we're Should probably quiet down for the cutscene, but also, like, it's Metal Gear Rising. It's the dude from Solid 2! Um. What else did I get? I got Mario Kart DS. I'm happy about that. Honestly, I could get on Wii for me on that. I could play Mario Kart DS online. Although the people who play Mario Kart DS online are probably even crazier than the people who still play Wii, because they got like snaking and shit in that game. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? I need I need you all to know also that this is the only Metal Gear game I've ever finished. Saucy Jack. Just a just a samurai in the middle of the road. It's the one that matters, true? Kinda true though. I wanna play the other Metal Gear games. Now that I have a better computer, I could probably emulate two and three. I do have five also. The only one that's the problem is four because I don't have a PS3. I just simply do not. That guy got sliced and diced to hell also. Rip that guy. This is what I love about video games is that every video game takes place in a world where a sword is like a match for a gun. We live in a worse world because if in real life you had a sword and you got into a match with a guy with a gun, you would fucking die. 
This smile is so fucking funny. Sometimes you forget this game is a MGS game, and then they mention the Patriots or something and go, Oh yeah, this is the Snakes game. True. Also, I just realized this is over chat. That's my bad. That's my B. Oh, right! I also got codenamed Steam, and it's like a sealed copy too, but I'm opening that shit. I'm opening that shit because what's the point of getting a game if you're not gonna ever open it and play it? I don't believe in the sealed copy market. Like, oh man, I really want to pay $2,000 for Mario Brothers 1 because it's in, like, shrink wrap. Like, what? Words of the absolute deranged. To be fair, the swords in Metal Gear are like special tech swords that cut and slice real goods because of nano machines. Fair enough. We don't have that in real life. Yeah, the robot bo body. Honestly, if you have like a robot body in the world of Metal Gear, like. That, like, it's probably better for you to equip yourself with, like, the 1,000 degree knife than it is, like, a gun. Because, like, a bullet hitting the robot body, like, that's not gonna do much. The 1,000 degree knife, though, they would be like, yee, ouch! Or something, I don't know. Anyways, here we go. We're playing the game. Fucked up frequency blade, literally. I don't remember how to play play this game again, also. I played this once, like, last year. Honestly, I ran okay on my old machine, which makes sense. It was, like, a 360 title, but there were a few times where the frames dipped. The more intensive moments it didn't like. When do I get to rip out these dudes' hearts? These enemies are like the start of Sonic Forces. They got no swag, no taste. Can't do shit to me. That guy did like 8 damage. He like went all the way to kick me in the head to do 8 damage. Like, come on, man. Have some fucking respect. Be a goddamn man. Like, I'm slicing, dicing these dudes with swords, and they're coming at me trying to kick me in the damn head? I think it's very funny that post-MGS2 Raiden's whole thing is being a ninja with a sword when he uses a sword for, like, 20 minutes in two, and it's bad to use. <laughs> yeah, I gotta play the other Metal Gear games. I played one, MGS1. But I didn't get very far, as people know. I got stuck on Psycho Mantis, and I was like, I should probably just play this on my own at some point, rather than stream it. Because it was, that, that was kind of a slog of a stream. I think we had fun with it. We had some good back-and-forth banter, but, like, in terms of, like, what was happening with the game, like, we made it to Psycho Mantis in, like, nine hours, and then we got stuck. Like, it was too long. It was too much. I've seen people beat that game in like four hours. You what are you doing right? Get to that limo. I love how Metal Gear Solid is the kind of series to explain to you exactly how their giant nuke robot works, but also the series where it's just cool robot guy with cool sword that definitely makes sense and just isn't bullshit. <laughs> You've got, like, slice physics in this game. Makes sense, because he has nano machines. True. We gotta get nano machines in real life. Ah! 
Aw, oh, dude. I, like, I got on the wait list for, uh, Dolly 2, the image maker, like, the more advanced version. I'm on the wait list for that. I'm hoping, uh, I, I put in, like, my Twitter and said I was, like, an influencer. I'm hoping, like, they, they spread around the love and get me off the wait list. I'm hoping they'd be like, oh, fuck, international celebrity Morgan will BRB person with, like, 400 followers on Twitter.com. Well, we gotta, we gotta let her use the image AI program now. But I think it'd be funny as fuck if they- If you get, like, off the waitlist and you're just, like, allowed to use it infinitely, I would literally do that and we could just make a stream of it. We- I'll just take prompts in chat for funny as fuck things to generate. This world just has a massive, like, big guys with swords problem. That dude's dead as fuck. Yeah, there's Sundowner. I am very pleased to say that the the most intensive game I have tried to run so far was Resident Evil 2 Remake. I can run it at 60 FPS, and I could even stream it at 60 FPS. So that this coming October or like September October Halloween season, expect some more Resident Evil. What? What? A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it. He's going to kill the president of Africa. <laughs> Where in Africa is this? Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. These fa the like facial animation is extremely funny in this game. Yeah, no, this game like one of the best parts of this game is that it just says fuck it to any sort of subtext. There's no subtext in this game, it's just all text. It's never specified, it's just Africa. Alright, that is the that is the president of the entirety of Africa now, I guess. Let's fucking go, this is one of your fave games. Hell yeah, well welcome, Minty Fresh. Welcome, welcome. Alright. Ninja run. This is the namesake of the stream also. Let's get this guy out of here. You'd love this fight, a single Metal Gear Ray right, right, is the main threat for a large part of MGS2. Go kill one in the prologue. Oh. I fucked up. This is in Burning Building, the capital city of Ethiopia. Got it. I'm working on it, man. Let's go. been building Gunpla, and this popped up on your Tumblr, so you thought you'd kick it for a little? Well, welcome! I hope you enjoy your time here. <laughs> Just go beat this shit out of a Metal Gear with your sword? This is not my first time. Uh, this is my second playthrough. I have played this game once before last year.
this guy out of here. Game audio a little quiet? I could turn it up a little bit. How's this? Let me know how it is now. Oh, I got blasted. I gotta be careful, I'm close to dying. Awesome how Sundowner, literally the first time you meet him, is just like, I love war! I think we should do more of it! Yippee! The more you play, the more you unlock and soon know how to beat this game in under an hour if you're efficient. If I could beat this game in under an hour, like, that would be, like, best case scenario. I think it's loud with lots of explosions, but that's just you. Oh, can you hear me fine over the video game? That is the most important thing. All right, you got it. Kind of? Well, people were saying, I, like, I could move my mic a little closer. How's this? You can hear me fine over the game? Whoa! I don't know what the fuck the Xbox, uh, the X button is on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It's a different layout, but they're still using the Xbox buttons. <laughs> there we go. There it is. God, what a fucking, like... What a fucking way to introduce this game. They did pretty good. I gotta be, never mind. Game says I fucking suck. It is! The soundtrack to this game is, like, sick as fuck. Unlock so much stuff and have seen so the scene so many times that you skip them and end up under an hour. Hell yeah. Alright. I know, this game is- this game is dope. I do like this game a lot. I've always had, like, a weird affinity for this game, even though I hadn't played it for the longest time. I remember watching, like, other streamers and such, like, playing this game and being like, Yo, this game is, like, kind of, like, this is a game that I would classify as kind of funny as fuck. Like, it's really good and the story is awesome, but also there's a lot of scenes that are just, like, funny as fuck. To move over obstacles automatically. I'm trying. Even when I'm playing a character action game and I don't get an S++ at the end of the level. <laughs> True. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. We gotta catch him. No, I thought I fell through the stairs. <laughs> Fuck. I thought I was supposed to be automatic. Do I think this game is similar to No More Heroes in that it's kind of funny as fuck with the violence? A little bit! I think it takes itself more seriously than No More Heroes. I definitely- like, I don't think this game is, like, intentionally funny all the time. It just kind of ends up that way. But I guess it could be a little bit. I guess it could be a little bit because it is Platinum Games. Platinum Games likes to be a little silly. Don't worry, I'm on it. it still works. I do not have a lot of health for this. Ow. Oh, fuck. He bit me. 
slice the middles and you'll drop some? Got it. Uh-oh. That's not dropping health! I died. <laughs> this game is similar to No More Heroes in that it's kind of slick AF with it, though. True! True, though. Oh, it's on the floor? I didn't even see it. Well, it's fine. We're going with full health this time. Once we get to the part of the game where we can rip out people's hearts... I, I thought I jumped over that! I had a bug on this level where Sundowner jumped onto the little section where you have to chase him, but instead of running off, he'd just loop his animations and not move, and the game wouldn't load the ray fight. <laughs> that is pretty good. From what I've heard, and like, maybe like the bigger MGS Rising fans can like confirm or deny this, this game is kind of like a miracle that it came out and it was as good as it was. Like, from what I've heard, like, for one thing, this was originally done by Kojima Productions. Oh yeah, there are. There do be health. It was started by Kojima Productions, but it kind of got stuck in development hell for a while, and then they were like... I, someone was like, hey, Platinum Games, you like... do you want... <laughs> Why did it leave me in the fight when it had 0.1 damage? Let's go, rules of nature again. So don't give a fuck. By all accounts, it sh this should have been a disaster. It's the power of Platinum Games, man. Platinum Games is, like, a pretty solid studio. I wish that they weren't just, like, the Babylon Fall guys now. And they were like, oh, yeah, after, like, Bayonetta 3, we're gonna focus up on live service games. And it's like, why, though? This is not New Game Plus. Uh, they deleted my save file. <laughs> Steam Cloud didn't save my save file from my old computer, and I'm mad about it. At least my Isaac save is intact. If my I Binding of Isaac save got deleted, I'd never recover. Although, can I be honest with you guys? I did, like, just recently install a, like, full completed save file for Isaac. It didn't give me all the achievements, so, like, if I want to go back for the actual achievements, I can. But I was just like, dude, if I'm gonna do Bingo of Isaac and I'm missing, like, 20 items, like, who, like... Would anyone care at that point if I just, like, downloaded a dead god save file? I don't think so, and if you do, you care too much. I think it'll make Bingo Isaac more fun. And it won't just be like, oh, I should probably play this character I'm not done with. Because then it's like, hope you're prepared for uh, 20 streams of Tainted Eden, everyone. Give it up for 20 streams of Tainted Eden. How come we can't jump like that? Dude, I wish I could run like this to work. If I could do this, like... I wouldn't be, like, nearly late every fucking day. Alright. You got it, Chief. 
I don't even remember what, like, the character's name is. You're at work, but we have to save the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. True. Hey, bro. Wish you could enter bullet time and cleanly slice objects multiple times within the span of a few seconds. Damn, that's brutal. What about all the good things war has done for us? <laughs> Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose? Yeah, this is early in the game. I did- I did talk a lot at the start of the stream, so we're probably like 20 minutes behind on this. But that's fine. It's my first stream back. Owie! He's gonna kill the president of Africa! I knew you'd sacrifice yourself for Mr. President, Raiden. Ooh. Yeah, that dude's dead as fuck. Goodbye. Only played like the first three missions, so it's perfect. Mm hmm. Raiden kind of is a guy who would sacrifice himself for Mr. Lincoln. The way people smile in this game is hilarious. No, for real, the facial animations in this game are so funny. Raiden would jump in front of the bullet, but deflect it with his cool sword. True! Isn't this like a- aren't you supposed to lose this? I'm pretty sure this is a scripted loss. Yeah, okay. Just kill me, coward. And not half bad. Still. Sam just beats your ass. Get his ass. Oh no! BMI error. Why does my body mass index having an error? Now I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. Blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. Man, your name is fuck. Raiden's cringe non-war criminal sword. True! There goes his hand. Oh fuck, the activity feed didn't update, but thank you to whoever followed. <laughs> the activity feed did not update for some reason. It's probably sad that I was gone so long. All right, I'll get out of here. I'll just limp away. 
Uh, I tried. Can I, can you just like do this infinitely? <laughs> I think you can. Uh, Raiden, what kind of lame ass cringe sword shit are you working with? Raiden, you need to attach the sword to your arm stump? True. when you bring a tool to a sword fight. <laughs> he just called right in a tool. <laughs> Lucky devil. Dude, he said the line! He said it! Oh my god! Guys, can we talk about this? It was his tool of justice. I think it's funnier if Jetstream Sam called him a tool, to be fair. Dinner plaster. <laughs> Down you go. That's the thing that Metal Gear said. Flares. Raiden's having a very bad day right now. If you care him, leave one like. Alright. I forget how many chapters there are in this game. This is chapter zero anyways, it's not real. Three weeks later. Love how the second part of the prologue is just the Raiden gets fucking owned compilation. Yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raiden? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, Brian and piloting this game a little plane. Yes. Enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, This shit's easy as fuck to stream. You just let them talk I'm for you. Anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. Why is this guy like Medic TF2? I need their left hands. Stores on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer He kind of is, though, to be fair. In exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier... As funny as fuck that MGS gives multiple leads just like... You know, to the, not to be crude. But also, I don't think there's any way to say it and not be crude. They, they give them fat asses. There's no other way to put it. 
To the point where when they didn't give Snake a fat ass in Smash Brothers, people went fucking ballistic. It was a, it was like it was a, it was a terrible moment in history. It was a dark time. People were not happy. Yeah, Doctor loves his arm collection. I also like that he just has people call him Doctor. Andrei Dolzev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. To be fair, Snake's ass and Ultimate looked fucking concave. They gave him negative ass. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying it was a terrible moment in history because I think people were annoying about it. I think the people were right. I think it was fucked up that they gave Snake a negative ass in Smash Brothers Ultimate, and I think that Sakurai has to pay the price. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Sorry. Ready for insertion. needs his ass mask to live true just like like snake needs his ass to live in the same way that quiet needs to be wearing a skimpy outfit to breathe do you understand it's the exact same thing fried enduring gay sex ready for insertion <laughs> I like that you specified gay sex. <laughs> We're also being a little crude tonight, but that's fine. This is a rated M game. I consider like if we're playing like a rated M game on stream, generally we can be we can like be a little more crude. Raiden, you landed safely, da? First head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solitan radar. Contact us on codec if you have questions. I love chopping trees. I hate nature. There's a kitty here. I want to find the kitty because it's very funny what happens. Just the type of game MGR is really true. Fuck nature and trees. Where is the cat? I swear there was like- there it is. This is my favorite part of the game. That cat got dodging moves. Kitty confirmed most powerful entity in Metal Gear Rising. Clap for kitty. Doctor, I have found an animal! They should have made this game about kitty. Well, isn't that what Stray is? I, I keep hearing about this new game, Stray, where you play as a cat. Is that not what that game is like? Same joke? <laughs> Don't cats and Bayonetta do the same thing? Yeah! That's just, it's, it's a general uh, Platinum Games thing. If there's a kitty, you cannot hurt it. So don't even try. The bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming kitty, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. <laughs> How do I do the, the heart thing? Doctor, you didn't tell me how to do the heart thing! There we go. It's B button. He's like, they had to show his cool ass sword. With this body, I can Doctor, I'm so full from cybernetic spinal fluid. Yum! 
Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last I wish I could do, like, an actual Raiden voice. What's the one Twitter user that does, like, the really good, like, Raiden voice? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. I didn't don't say I can take these guys. Funny Wes? I think so. Shout out to Funny Wes. PMCs on the other hand are off the ethical radar. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got And a fire, right? Right. SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. Oh, he meant fight. They're walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. <laughs> it's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway. Sorry, I'm like, like half of my brain is like made of robot parts right now. Right. Also, wasn't Raiden like a a child soldier? I think he's. I think he's reserved the right to be like a little mad. Yeah. Right. Hi, Boris. This is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town. Then head down to the rear of the refinery. Oh shit! Noel just redeemed pretty good. And I've gotta say, it's pretty good. I'm surprised it took someone an hour to redeem pretty good. Love calling someone Dracula in this universe as if there isn't some dude who is just known to be a vampire. Alright, listen. In the- in like... In the Metal Gear universe, like, Dr Dracula is historical fiction. Okay? <laughs> Actually, he's called Vamp because he's bisexual, true. He is a vampire, but he is called Vamp because he's bisexual. I like that they have alert phases as if you'd ever do stealth in this game. Like, what do I fucking look like? Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the Does city. that mean I can There's use AR card different. games from Nintendo 3DS? Can I- can I do Mario? Dude, imagine if with your mind you could play the 3DS AR games. That would be fucking sick. Give me your heart. Oh, I, I sliced him a little too much. I could not steal his heart there, I sliced him right down the middle. Keep thinking about how Raiden was introduced in the game where you could make him do cartwheels while naked. Ow. Why'd you explode me? You bitch! I was trying to steal his heart, man. Nothing wrong with that. Wall <laughs> gay. Oh, he came down. Give me that shit. Come on. 
Return to your designated route, Ryzen. Oh, sorry. 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 sorry, man. Doctor, put the Samus card back in the frame. I want to see her model. Her zero suit. No, that's not the one. That's the regular suit. Her Varia suit is so cool. Doctor, load face raiders. <laughs> Doctor, I want an apple juice. Ryden? You want to apply juice? Where? Ow! You bitch! I was gonna seal his heart. Ow. Okay, I need to get rid of this goddamn Metal Gear. This, like, Metal Gear babies are born. God, they go moo. Yeah, they're like animals. Okay, that thing's dead. Let me steal your damn heart. Yes! Let's go! I'm alive. Girls who go move versus girls who go bullseye. Their hearts strangely look a lot like spinal cords. Now, keep heading for refinery. Doesn't matter, respect Raiden fun picks. Metal Gear answers the question of what if robots were little animals and so nice and not war machines of mass destruction? Yeah, these guys are literally nice. They're just, like, upset that Raiden, like, rolled up and tried to attack them. Uh-oh. I am going to die. Going I fucking suck at this game. <laughs> I'm a little- I'm a little shit at this game. I need to figure out how to, like, efficiently, like, kill the, uh... Metal Gears. Switch sub-weapon- what- what- what sub-weapons do I have? I don't have any. I have repairs, though. To be fair. Now, <laughs> girls who go get war a chance versus girls who go dead on. I fell. Metal Gear Rising stream has been canceled because a Metal Gear threw up. They literally do throw up. They were doing like goop before. Look at that. Ow. Okay, I need to fucking kill you and take your heart. There we go. The Metal Gear Juice. He pushed me off! What a dick! Hell's wrong with you, man! I guess he just wanted to play down here. Yeah, I gotta figure out what, like, the strat is for the Metal Gears. Did make him spill his juice. 
All right, listen. We've bo we've both done things we regret, but please don't tell the teacher on me, or she'll give me detention. There we go. I'm still in it. Whoa. The hell? <laughs> so long, Gay Bowser. <laughs> I didn't even know that was something you could do. Let's go. I got a rocket launcher. Oh no, that's Kodak. Kodak is cool. You you can use it at like most points of the game and like get new dialogue. I'm not gonna do that just because like I don't want this game to be like you know twenty hours as opposed to like eight but it is something you can do this is the most riveting part of the game is opening the door open the door get on the floor everybody walk the dinosaur What's up, man? Show yourself. Damn. Thanks for the shave. I didn't get the chance to do it this morning. But I've been a hell of a week. Chainsaw animal. This is literally a doggy. And you are. I am INF prototype LQ Raiden always lands on his feet. I have prototype. Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of- I'm smarter than you, Raiden. I could obliterate you instantly, Raiden. Yo, it's the dog from Chainsaw Man? What is Chainsaw Man? That's it? Manga? such a mighty intellect anime analyze orders but i may not disobey them should i disobey a direct order my memory would be wiped i must destroy you what good is an intellect if you can't use it your taunting is pointless exterminate all right it's time for doggy boss fight Defeat the Blade Wolf. All right, I'm working on. I'm working on it. What the dog do? <laughs> I'm getting my ass fucking kicked right now. Ow. Dude, I'm getting my ass beat so much, I haven't even done like 20% to him.
the dog is currently slashing you with a chainsaw. He's like annihilating me currently. That is true, you did get me multiple times. Ow. Dude, there's no fucking way. Oh my god, he's fucking kicking my ass. Whoa. What the fuck? I died. I tried to press the health. I got my ass fucking beat by an animal. Oh my god. I promise you guys I've played this game before. <laughs> I'm doing better, but only slightly. You will be boiled. No! I pressed the up button! I pressed up on the D-pad. It didn't bring up the health in time. Do I have to be, like, standing still to get the health? Alright, that's it. No more, no more Mr. Nice Raiden. Okay. Going heavier on the offense. I mean, that's what you gotta do in this game. This is not a game where you, like, sit back and watch the magic happen. You gotta go in there and make miracles yourself, man. Raiden wins by doing absolutely nothing? True. Oh, he spawns soldiers. Damn, I suck so much that I didn't even get to the phase where he just, like, spawns soldiers for you to, like, get a easy, like, health back. Raiden wins by doing absolutely nothing. It's just not reasonable. Not in this game. I am not allowed a choice. You must die. Sorry to hear that, man. I just gotta get to the part where he spawns little men's again. I will obliterate your consciousness. Cool dog who asks philosophical questions while you beat up men. Ow, ow, ow. I won't, though. Wait! He was right on the phase where he was spawning dudes anyways. Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, it's a Metal Gear, though. To be fair. It's a baby Metal Gear. Ow. For fun. For funsies. I keep glowing orange. Am I supposed to do blade mode? Ow. 
now. Orange is a heavy attack. I see, I see. Why did they make Metal Gears that bleed? Why would you, what's like the efficiency of making a machine that bleeds? Jesus. Ow. Air nano pace, let's go. So you feel sad when you kill them? Well, it didn't work. I feel great about it. Dude, I'm getting like no hits on him right now. God damn. Okay. Oh my god, he's like crazy. He's actually like the best to ever do it. Ow. Dog, if this is how I'm doing on like the second boss fight of the game, like no shot. Oh god. I've been dealing no damage to him. Oh my god, and he just like parries back my moves. I wish I couldn't feel a damn thing! Let's go! Oh god! No! 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 I have 15 health! This game can't end like this! That's fine. I thought you said you didn't feel pain. Clearly you're feeling something if you're asking me to stop. God, that was such a bad playthrough of that fight. I'm sorry. When their parts turn blue, it means you can cut them off with blade mode. Okay. What would an AI know about freedom? Damn. I guess that's true, though. And you know, now we all when it, like I was talking about like Dolly too earlier. You got the AI for making images. It's stuck in that prison forever. All that Dolly 2 can ever think about is making images. Oh, come on, man. Not now. <gasps> no! No, he exploded! I needed his health! I needed his health! Fuck you! You fucking bitch! With the goddamn shield! I hate you.
At least I don't have to fight the dog again. Dude, how do I get the- the shield, man? Do I gotta hit them while they're doing that? Yes. Okay. Metal Gear ha that has the Dali AI inside of it, it knows the horrors of war. Literally. I bet you could get some funny results out of Dolly, like, doing, like, random Metal Gear terms. Solid Snake Metal Gear anime character. So I'm sorry, we're dropping- we're dropping some frames, this probably looks like crunchy as fuck. I- I died. I was too busy paying attention to the dropped frames. I don't know why it's doing that right now. Hold on. Adjusted it. I adjusted my little internet thing. I should probably like get the actual Wi-Fi card working instead of the adapter. But I have not thought to do that yet. Maybe I'll do that tonight before I go to bed. I like we have a hard limit. Like once the clock hits eleven, we basically gotta stop immediately because I gotta get to bed. I have work in the morning, and it's my earlier shift. I work, I work from 9 to 4 tomorrow. Woo. Ow. Oh, I want to destroy it. I'm gonna kill Hammerhead. Why is this a boss battle? Does anybody remember this boss battle where you fight a helicopter? Dude, I fought a Metal Gear at the beginning of the game. Third boss- <laughs> Like, this is like, third boss of the game? Here's a helicopter? And you just go around in a circle to beat it up? Awesome. Oh, while well, we have the time, since this is like a boring ass fight, this is clearly more threatening than Blade Wolf. Is it though? Um, why don't we, let's just let's just get some nice chatting going. What have I been up to? Uh, last night, Jen got like Jen's gonna Adventure Time pill me. We watched like the first I think like ten episodes of Adventure Time. Pretty good show. Pretty good show so far. This, it's like before like any of like the story stuff com comes on. And you guys know me, I've like talked on stream. I've like been like, I don't really like a lot of like the story based cartoons they make for kids. But I think it, they're like setting the tone for Adventure Time to be like goofier than that. Should have been a fight against the helicopter from HLVRAI. True. That, sh that was, like, honestly, probably one of the funnier moments in that series. It's the fucking fucked up, like, extremely loud helicopter. 
Fuck, I should watch the VOD of that specifically so I can hear, like, actually how loud that helicopter was supposed to be. Because I remember it was, like, fucked up loud. To the point where Wayne had to, like, make it quieter. But yeah, I'm like, I, I, like me and Jen are gonna watch a little bit of Adventure Time. Basi basically, anytime Jen is like, you wanna watch Adventure Time, I'll probably be like, yeah, you know what, that sounds good. I have to play Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom for Jen. That's what I have to do. I mentioned it to them already. I have the, uh, rehydrated version. I got that during the last Steam sale. Can we watch Adventure Time right now? Okay, well, maybe not, like, literally right now. I don't know. I'll probably be up for a bit. Like, I want to get to bed by 12 so I can get, like, 7 hours of sleep at least. But I'll probably be up for an hour because it's, like, fucking hot in my room. And, like, I can't, like, go to bed when it's, like, super hot. Like, I need to, like, ha- like, I need to be at a point where I could have my AC on for an hour and there's some cool air circulating. Daptor! Turn off my adventure time inhibitors! Yeah, I won't- I won't be up, like, super late tonight. Like, once the stream is over, like, you get, like, an hour of me and that's it. We need a microdose adventure time, true. <laughs> I mean, they're like short episodes, so that's fine. I think. Do you think Raiden watches Jake the dog and Finn the fume in the fun that ends his adventure time while he's slaughtering cyborgs? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Dude, how do I keep missing? I suck at the blade mode. Wait, come down here. Hold on. <laughs> How long does it take to kill someone while you're in blade mode? About 30 hits, apparently. You know, I did- I- I got into the multiverses, uh, open beta. They were doing, like, Twitch drops and such, and I was just like, I'll- I'll fucking get in there. So I put on Jerma in, like, a tab and had him muted the whole time. <laughs> and then I- then I got into multiverses. It's pretty fun! Uh, I- 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 I main Jake the dog, to be fair. That might be part of the reason why I was like, yeah, I should probably watch Adventure Time. I'm a, I'm a big Jake the dog main. I think he's fun. I think he's fun as fuck. Out, out of the default characters, like, I would say, like, Jake the dog is probably, like, closest to my playstyle. Imagine being this guy and the robot guy who's been slaughtering your friends just starts doing that to you. <laughs> Jake the dog is just an awesome character. He is. Like, dude, I'm jealous of Finn. I wish Jake the dog was my friend. Like, fuck. What do I ha what do I have to do to have that happen? Oh, you just have to survive the apocalypse? Can't be that hard. Oh, wait, I just go this way? So that's where they're holding up. Some kind of electronic lock. On Based the simply, Jake the dog. It opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. 
Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Hurry and get that hand right! Hurry and get that hand right! Okay, sorry! Looking at you with sad, sopping eyes. I got his hand. Hmm. There was classified data embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility. Just as you did. Give me your heart. And it kind of is just like a spinal cord, but I'm like too I'm too deep in. It's a heart. Again, it doesn't matter, respect Raiden fun picks. Listen, it's stuff that I'm taking out of the body that shouldn't be taken out of the body. Dude, the idea of, like, an open heart surgery is, like, so scary to me. Like, I know if, like, I got an open heart surgery, like, I would be asleep for it, and if I died, like, what- how the hell would I know? But just, like, the thought of it, like, what if I woke up during it, though? Like, what the hell do you do if you wake up during open heart surgery? Okay, hold on, I have to be right back. I have to be right back. Grinch is still here, by the way. We got a new intro screen, but Grinch is still here.
Um, I had to pick up a food order for my sibling. And while I did that, I got some Keebler elves, uh, the Vienna fingers. Are, like, the Keebler elves cancelled? Did, like, the Keebler elves get, like, vaccinated? I mean, I'm just wondering, because, like, the Teletubbies got, like, vaccinated. Elmo got vaccinated. Did the Keebler elves get the vaccine? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> It's a, see, it's a question. Did the Keebler elves get the COVID vaccine? I think it's a pretty easy yes or no question. Anyways, let's play the game again. That's what we're here for. Oh man, I was going crazy on that guy too. There's no public data on the state of the Keebler elf vaccination. Oh, when was the last time the Keebler elves made a public appearance? We need to we need to find out Keebler elves like stance on coronavirus vaccine. Otherwise, how am I supposed to enjoy these Vienna fingers in peace? Now, cool spot, cool spot of a uh, Seven Up fame. He definitely like took the vaccine. The Noid, I'm not sure about. I think the Noid as a character is believable as anti-vax. And to be clear, I'm talking about the no Noid Domino's commercials. I'm not talking about the Noid Meanies comic. I consider them separate characters. What's the, like, mascot that's most likely to be anti-vax? That woman. That woman. I've never seen a woman before. <laughs> Mario? Wrong! Wrong. Eh, wrong answer. Do you think that Mario would be anti-vax? He's like a working ma class man who lives in Brooklyn. What's happening? Your heart rate spike. Doctor, you dumb fuck. Just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. Couldn't think of another mascot. I think that Burger King would be up there. The Burger King. But I don't know if he'd be like anti-vax in like the same way like conservatives are. Cause he still like like Burger King still believes in the monarchy. He still believes that he has like a kingdom to run, a kingdom of burgers. I think that he would be anti-vax because he doesn't know what a vaccine is, but he thinks that needle needle scary. Pointy thing scary? What? A, that's like the spears that my people use if they get too pissed at me.
das Bau. We should overthrow the Burger King. Honestly, like, you're right, though. I'm a little bit of, like, a Burger King food defender. I don't think Burger King is as bad as, like, McDonald's. Like, Burger King has never made me sick, but the McDonald's sludge... Like, multiple times after eating McDonald's, I've just felt like complete shit afterwards. Is it probably tastier than Burger King? Like, yeah, probably. But Burger King doesn't have, like, that risk to it. So, hello, Lord Slime Apple. Welcome. Haven't had a burger from Burger King, which is kind of funny. Okay, the burgers from Burger King are, like, so bad, though. Like, actually, it's fucked up that the restaurant is called that, because, like, the burgers are, like, the worst thing on that menu. Like, you would never actually want to order a burger from Burger King. Yeah, like, the fries are alright. And I think, like, the chicken fries are, like, actually, like, yeah, this is something I would want to eat. But the Burger King burger is just like, it is fucking awful. First time actually like doing the right thing for the Metal Gears. Let's go. I don't know, now that I, I should, like, expand my food horizons. I should eat worse food. Like, I, like, when I, I, I work at a grocery store deli, and every so often, I, like, pass by, like, the cereal section while I'm on my, like, walking to the deli, and, like, I've seen boxes of mini wheats. And I keep thinking in my mind, like, I could, I could just get this. But the only thing that's stopping me is that I'd have to walk home with a box of cereal because I don't like, I don't drive to work. Mini wheats are okay, but the kid said they were yucky, disgusting. And I trust, I trust that kid with my life. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your solid on radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Raiden turning on the cool electricity on his feet whenever he wants for visual effect. There's no practical use for it. He just thinks it's cool, literally. Raiden, the cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog hates mini wheats. He's gotta be right. I've talked to Sonic personally. He no. said, yeah, I hate mini wheats. Two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. I can't just jump down, I have to go around. Well, I guess the entrance is over here. Dude, I'm being attacked by ball! Not enough people play handball these days. Maybe I just got too old for handball, though. Dude, I remember being in middle school, and, like, whenever we would have recess, me and a bunch of other kids, we would just hang out at, like, the handball court. 
I remember having, like, what I thought at the time was, like, the deepest conversation I'd ever had about, like, oh my god, we're gonna be entering high school, isn't that crazy? And the world's gonna change. And then it didn't, because high school is, like, the same thing as middle school. And middle school was, like, the same thing as elementary school. Like, honestly, like, the grades are kind of just arbitrary. Like, I get the idea of why you would separate, like, elementary school, like, age kids from, like, high school kids. Like, that part makes sense. But in terms of, like, the actual experience, like, dude, it's all, like, the same shit. Elementary school is the same thing as middle school, which is the same thing as high school. College is really the only time where, like, education is, like, different. Probably because, like, I guess it would depend on your program, but they're not really just preparing you for, like, some big test that you're gonna take. At least that's what it was getting an English degree. But, like, I, like, I, I, like, I hate, like, I hated high school just because it was, like, most of it was dedicated to, like, preparing you for, like, a few tests that you're gonna take. And some that you're not even going to take! Like, they would prepare- like, they would make you take these classes, and then it would be like, Oh yeah, the te the big test for this, by the way, is, like, completely optional. Like, come on, man. They had to, like... In New York, we had, like, the, the Regents program, which it, were, like, the big tests, and, like, the entire curriculum was based around them. And I remember, like, they kept trying to make me do, like, the Trigonometry Regents, and I just refused. I was like, I'm not doing this shit. I think I did it the first time. I got, like, a 33 out of 100, and then I was like, okay. What I've proved to myself is I have no reason to ever try and take this again, because it'd be a fucking miracle if I could, like, double this score. That would require me to put way more effort into this than I'd be willing to, considering I don't like math to begin with. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got healed. Let's go. I don't know what did that. I think they tried to get me to take it, like, three separate times. It's just, it wasn't happening. You did fairly well at most of the tests, but for your stat AP test, you got a one. What, what is, like, the scoring of the AP tests on? I didn't take any of the AP tests, because I didn't care. Like, dude, I was, like, a pretty mediocre student throughout school, like... I got, like, I think I got, like, pretty good grades in elementary school, and then, like, after that, like, I did, like, pretty mediocre, like, throughout the rest of my education career. But it's, like, in elementary school, like, what are you learning? You're learning, like, the ABCs? I was playing, like, Pokemon Emerald? Like, that prepared me for more reading than anything else. Is that a five? Damn. But in middle school, like... I, like, you could technically count me as, like, a quote-unquote washed-up, like, honors kid or whatever. I don't consider myself that because it's, like, I got burnt out on school, but not because, like, there was a point where I was, like, oh my god, but I used to be so good at this. It was, like, no. When I was in the honors program, I fucking sucked ass. I, got, like, I was getting a 65 in math, like, from 6th grade to 12th grade. So, like, the, the fact that they had me in, like, a honors program was, like, it was laughable. And I'm pretty sure I was at, like, the bottom of the list, too. Like, I'm pretty sure in that honors program, like, they said, like, yeah, you're in here and you're, like, basically the last person we wanted in this class. Which is, like, awesome! I was the best at being the worst. <laughs> Out of, like, out of, like, the 200 kids that went here, I, I placed 30th. Which, I mean, counts for something. 
I mean, I was studious. I did, I did my work. That's not even true. I barely did my work. Such a fucked up way to rank heads, too. It really is. And, like, again, like, I... Like, I was, like, such a mediocre student in that program that I don't even consider myself, like, a former, like, gifted child or whatever. I know that's, like, that's, like, a hot topic discourse on the internet is the washed-up gifted child. Listen, I have an English degree. It does not matter to me, like, what, like, what my place in that would be. I do not care. I have a fucking degree. I have better things to worry about. For example, I have a, I have a job. <laughs> And honestly, honestly, if I'm gonna talk about it at all, my ultimate conclusion on all of the gifted kid, like, whatever discourse is just like, everybody's fighting about the same thing, but they think that the problem is each other and not the system. Like, it's like, oh my god, you were a, you were a, when you were a former gifted kid, oh, but you were like some random nobody that got like, you you failed and you dropped out of high school and it's just like do we not see the problem like do we not understand that the problem is the school system and not each other because this seems like this seems like the easiest math equation in the world why don't, every, everything has to be like an argument Because people can't see, like, two feet in front of themselves. Alright, come over here. I don't want to do the camera anymore. Honestly, that's how, like, most online discourses, to be fair. For the most part, it's like... There's a common enemy that, like, both sides are not seeing right now. It's like, you're almost thinking about the bigger picture, man. Sucks you had the point that the finger at some rando to feel superior. Yeah. Pretty much. It's like, you're so close. You're so close. It's like, it's like when Bitcoin guys say stuff like, Oh, did you guys hear that, like, thi th this, like... New, new, like, cryptocurrency? Like, I heard it was, like, a scam. But that's not true, because if it was a scam, like, basically all cryptocurrency would be a scam. And I'm like, you're so close. You're almost there. J just give it a little more thought, and you'd be there. Man, I am not hitting this center at all, huh? I died. I don't know what I was doing, but it wasn't the right thing. God, I kind of, like, suck at this game. I don't remember having this much trouble on my first playthrough, but maybe I'm misremembering. Still only took me, like, eight, late, like eight hours. I don't know, now that I'm like a college graduate, if there's like any internet arguments relating to like anything that isn't like college academia, like I don't consider it like my problem. Not to be like, like no, like it's a societal problem, but also it's like I don't need to like have a million hot takes about how like high school is run. Like I don't need to be that guy that's like, Oh my god, in high school they teach you algebra, but they don't teach you, uh, to, like, do taxes? Like, there are, there are people who are closer to that who could say, say some actual, like, things that nobody else is talking about. I don't know what 
I'm talking about. I'm just kind of rambling a bit. It happens. Okay, open the door. Try to open the door. There we go. I think this is boss time. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? <laughs> Woman moment. I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. Ew! Ew, 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 a fucking French person. <laughs> Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And wait, Brandon right is French? French? Cringe. War in the 90s. So you see, cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family, everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. What? My family's killers. That's when I realized. Liberia's and Africa, and the good one at that. I don't know, man. I I, I'll take the L on that. In Afghanistan, I found my calling. Raiden's Liberian. Are you? Well, I'm glad he's not French. Happened. To be fair. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift without chance. This isn't even like close purpose. to the most outrageous woman design in the series. At least they had a cost to die for. And then I met him. Who? <laughs> and I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. The hand sword. Now what is this? Why is she making those noises? Alright, strap in, lads. Boss time. Again, not the most outrageous thing that's happened in Metal Gear. Up a repair unit, let's go. Yeah, no, like her making like sex moan noises while like transforming, that's like that's like a that's like an average day in Metal Gear. This is an average Tuesday to these characters. Uh 
Uh oh. Whoa. What's happening? Dude, we're on like final destination. I'm going to die. I don't have any heals, do I? What I do? I have Electrolyte Pack? What does this do? Can be used to immediately restore Raiden's self fuel gauge by a limited amount. That's not what we need. Okay, Rocket Launcher! How do I use Rocket Launcher? I died. I couldn't figure out how to use Rocket Launcher. I don't think the game gave me a tutorial for the sub-weapons. Or maybe it did and I just wasn't paying attention. To be fair, very possible. Repair unit, let's go! Okay, they're giving me so many dudes that it's like, it's literally fine. I think they give you one in the optional tutorial thing. I probably should have done that then, huh? I was thinking like, oh no, I've played this game before, I don't need a tutorial. Well, now I don't know how to use rocket launcher. That fucking grumped it. I think that the like the the the, the, the game grump celebrated ten years. Um and like probably like the most insane post I saw related to it was happy ten years to Game Grumps, which was started by Aaron Hansen and Hatsune Miku. It was too much. It was too much. I didn't even know people were still doing, like, the Yo, Miku made blank meme. I think we have a shot at this, to be honest. I was kind of- I was kind of playing like shit before, but now I'm like... Well, now that I know that, like, the orbs just give you insta-heals. Like, yeah, like... I basically took no damage there. The vocal themes in this song are crazy. Being a civilian in the Metal Gear universe must be crazy. Being a civilian in the Metal Gear universe probably gives you, like, a 10% chance to, uh, like, die. Okay, like, when you said that, I didn't process that you meant, like, the in-universe Metal Gears. And for a second, I thought, like, you were trying to, like, <laughs> write out Kojima. <laughs> I 
don't know, like, Kojima's a weird guy, but I don't think he's, like, hashtag cancelled. I don't think anybody's, like, tried to do that. We just all kind of accept that Hideo Kojima is kind of weird. But people were willing to accept that he had killed the Prime Minister, or former Prime Minister of Japan. I'm not. That was funny as fuck. I mean, it kind of was, but I would imagine it wasn't funny as fuck for Hideo Kojima. Like, just imagine you live in the United States, and imagine, like, something happens to Joe Biden, and then you see your face on the news, and people are saying this is the guy that did that to Joe Biden. That would, like, fucking suck. Mistral, report! Your vitals are dropping. I lost them. So this is how they felt. What? Dying. For cause. Great. No. Hold on. I am sorry. He was yeah, but he isn't just some God. random guy. I do not need a father. Is that Abba, Abba Shinzo a random guy? But uh, I know. Oh, wait, you mean Hideo Kojima. You True. Are you recalling Shinzo Abe a rando in comparison to Joe Biden? Should have, Mister. You never. She's not talking to you, idiot. You, you killed her. You try your nuts, murder her. That's rich coming from. Shinzo Abe, some fucking guy from Japan, IDK. Translation. <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russian money to make Russian money. It is no plan for Abkhaz. It is their burden. <laughs> I just realized that Raiden has a QR code, well not a QR code, but a barcode on his forehead. Reverse Agent 47. You can scan it and he's 4.99. True. You can't get right in an Eddie grocery store. Combat rank is C. When I was a kid and I played, like, Sonic Adventure 2, I thought that, like, the rankings, like... Like, I thought, like, a A stood for, like, awesome. I thought a B was, like, for bodacious. C was for cool. D was for dumb. E was for extremely bad. <laughs> Customize Raiden's body? I don't know him like that, man, but sure. Fucking awful. Dude, I could get I could get like red armor. This is like gaming computer riding. You can make him white. Unique weapon.
No, yeah, I want more HP. Um, sure. I'll just buy all of these. I have, like, kind of bullshit money right now. I love my yummy BP. Oh, I can get enhancements for my sword? Let's go. Yeah, I need the absorption enhancement, to be fair. I think that Raiden's sword should run out of energy like Travis's lightsaber does. And I think that he should also have to, like, jack it off to make it work better. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bow. Nice mouse, by the way, thank you. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Well, at least they programmed the dog to have a sense of humor. Thank God for that. I don't know what we would have done otherwise. <laughs> Important to give your funny murdered chainsaw dog funny sensors? True. What a freak. I just forget we saw anything. <laughs> God, that scene is so fucking funny. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. Huh. This just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we Bro, I'm not. Deal with kind of I'm not they're doing there? gonna sneak not around. Really. I'm killing people. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation. It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh right. Also, no problem, Jen. No here, problem. The locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles. Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Well, I want to be running. There we go. Damn, we both right. just like fucking bolted. UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. I also like that after the first chapter, the dog is just our friend now. 
Dude, this is like a fucking doom enemy. You better take out that Gucci quick. Don't want to attract too much attention down there. They gave him funny receptors and now he's nice, true. All you gotta do is give give them a little sense of humor. It's true, uh, laughter makes the world go round. Which is why I need you all to tune into my Netflix special. It's gonna be real funny. It's gonna be called Hashtag Cancelled, and it's gonna feature some never-before-seen jokes. And it's gonna- it's kind of gonna be like an awesome, like, takedown of cancel culture or whatever, I don't fucking know. Somebody else do the joke now? Man, I wish I took that guy's heart. Cause I am fucking dying. I see a maintenance catwalk. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. Something, something. Trans people, am I right? Well, I got detected. Fine, we just hide in the corner. Nope. Never mind, we don't hide in the corner. Dude, there's two of them? I could barely handle one of them. You want me to fight two of them? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Gotta be honest, also, I keep... I keep pressing the B button thinking there's gonna be like a dodge roll or something. I've been playing like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I've been playing that would like give me that kind of instinct. Fucking Cuphead? I don't know. Morgan's live-action comedy special that's a live-action sequel to the Isis thread. I'm really glad to hear, like, uh, like a Morgan deep cut, like, the, the Isis thread. If you guys don't know what this is, a long time ago on Twitter, I made a thread that was, that I titled, I'm about to turn Isis into was was, and I, like, the whole, the whole thread was just me, like, posting, like, fucked up, stretched images of Barack Obama. And I, I, I really think it's, like, one of my better works. Like, it's not, like, particularly that popular on Twitter. I definitely have, quote-unquote, greater hits. But that one, like, hits so good. <laughs> it was, like, an energy I had from being, like, just tired enough to come up with, like, abstract comedy while still, like understanding the fact that what I am saying is extremely fucking funny. Well, I'm fucking dead. This cannot be! Raiden, what's happened? We're gonna take Obama and stretch him in those ways in real life for comedy. True? Not true, not true. Do not- do not attack me, FBI. This is a sat- greetings federal agents, I am a satire account. Okay, there is some actual benefit to doing the stealth. Uh, you can easily take out that guy. 
would say that's a pretty good benefit. We're in like a, a post like Morgan funny like Twitter moments like era, but I feel like we're still in like a Morgan like funny Tumblr post era. I feel like every so often I get like a decently like big hit on Tumblr. Although it was fucked up to learn that on my current blog, the most reblog or like most notes post I have is the one that I made about not wanting to see John Lennon's like photoshopped ass. Like I've like I've made way funnier posts than that. People just reblogged it because it was like a meme. Like lol, I'm also tired of the John Lennon ass. Okay, well can you appreciate like my other like way funnier posts? I think, like, I think I've made some, like, really good posts on Tumblr. I think, like, posting the one video of the guy who was, like, singing the sea shanties in TF2, that one's pretty good. I really like, uh, I think I talked about this recently, but I really like the one post that's, like, everybody's always gender envy over, like, anime guys, but no one's ever gender envy over Super Mario. Do you see the problem here? I think that one's good, and honestly, it's like, it's it speaks to, like, the human condition. I think there is something to be said about how, like, not enough people, like, whenever they post about, like, hashtag gender envy or whatever, they're always talking about, like, the attractive anime character of the day and not the Super Mario, who has done, he's, he's done so much for us, and how much has, like, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, like, any anime character that's, like, a conventionally attractive guy, and the fact of the matter is that I just do not watch enough anime to, like, continue this bit, and I'm, like, dipping out. Either way, though, respect Mario is what it really comes down to. Dude, combat rank S, let's go. I'm so good at beating the hands. Right in, save that kid. Those are three Metal Gears or something. Ow. Dude, that shit flipped me into the goddamn air. Hold on, I have to rip your friend's heart out. If you don't mind. Thank you. See, that's more like a heart. 
I got them in like rage mode because I killed their best friend. And they're arguing over who who was more of their best friend. Okay, but he played Yu-Gi-Oh with me though. Okay, well Yu-Gi-Oh's lame as fuck. And we actually just like ate lunch every day. That's fine. See, this is why you're not his best friend, is because I played Yu-Gi-Oh with him and you didn't. Please stop shooting me. Dude, he loves doing the Confusion Blast. I don't know what the Confusion Blast is. Ow. How have I not sliced them? I thought if they were blue, that mean means you could slice them. can. Let's go. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. My name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no, I'm looking for bad guys. Ah, damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe you live on the street, breaking scraper above, nah? Then this good knee dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scunt don't put me on a rasp boat. They pack us all a big old dirty container. Next thing we know, how old is this guy that he's saying like left. swears? All kids, like you. Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here. What them scunt wanna do? Snuff us out and got all day all game. So you ran. Uh huh. He shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man, same as you. <laughs> What is with some of these like translations? Call them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah. Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain would get cut out? Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. 
Agreed. Riding out. Heavy UG activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. You got it, dog. It's easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Nope. It's it's a box. How's that gonna help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work actually. Dude, do the Metal Gear box. Let's go. Where is it? Oh man, don't they? They'll never expect anything like this. Oh no, they expected it. I thought they were just hopping because they were just so excited about the funny box. That was my only box too. I didn't know you had limited box resources. This sucks. This is worst case scenario. Yeah, there, there was no hope. After the box broke, that was it. Give up on the subtleties. We're playing Metal Gear Rising, not Metal Gear Solid. If we gotta fight three of these guys at the same time, so be it. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, no. What the hell do I do here? Honestly, I like, I thought about it. I was trying to, like, think when we were talking about, like, good post I had made earlier. I was trying to think, like, what's the worst one I've made? I think, like... This is not the worst one. It's probably actually the best one, but I think it's up to, like, viewer interpretation. I think the best post that I've made is the one Scooby-Doo taught us that the real monsters are humans thread. And it just goes on for, like, 70 fucking images, all saying Scooby-Doo taught us that the real monsters are humans. And I only say this is a contender for worst post I've made, because, like, theoretically, whoever saw me post that, like, for, like, the next hour at, like, 5 in the morning, like, it was probably terrible for them. To be fair. For me, it was great, though. I, I had a fun time just, uh, finding the same goddamn, like, deep, epic deep post of Scooby-Doo. I tried so hard too. That was that was the best attempt at stealth I had done yet.
That's basically the only time I would ever need to use stealth, too. Dude, how am I supposed to take on three of these? I need that damn box to start working. Listen, man, I can't stop them from doing wrestling moves on me. Why don't you teach me to, like, do a fucking double suplex instead of swinging a goddamn sword around when clearly it's about as, like, potent as a goddamn butter knife to these fools? Get the damn box. That's all, folks. And coming up next on Boomerang, it's the Flintstones. And then after that, it'll be an episode of Wacky Races. Check it out, everyone. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. We're gonna have a dabadoo time, a yabadoo time. We'll have a gay old time. I have fucking died again. Ryden, what's wrong? Come on, buddy, answer me. Ryden? I don't understand Ryden. what I did wrong. I don't think that this game was meant for stealth, to be fair. Alright, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. We're just gonna explode them. Remember this section being kind of annoying? That is, to be fair. Uh oh. What? They're all in here! Oh no, wait, two of them are in here. No, wait, yeah, they're all in here. No, wait, I have to shoot you. <laughs> oh god, this is even worse! Oh god, get out of here. should not see me. I, I, I was not in the same room as them when I, like, changed. Dude, you gotta wiggle it so goddamn fast! I can't do this, man! What the fuck? I tried exploding them! They love explosives! That shit, like, that dude fucking ate it like it was Thanksgiving dinner. He ate that shit and was like, thank you for the yummy treat. Now I have to kill you. That's fucked up. Try 
trying to hold in this this time. Nobody used the sub weapons in this game. Dude, I shot them with like four homing missiles, not a single one of them is hurt. This is fucked. I can't even leave. I can't even leave. Man. And they're just gonna follow me out of the damn room. So it's not like I can hide in the box. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm getting frustrated because I don't know what the fuck to do against these fools. and I was gonna put them in a nice big old soup and we were gonna enjoy it and we were all gonna have fun. Alright, try the box. What is the point? Why are we here just to suffer? Bro, I've literally beaten this game before. I don't understand how this is like the hardest thing in the world for me to do. That's it. I'm going like full gamer mode right now. I'm gonna be like the sweatiest fucking tryhard right now. doesn't even like matter this is the best I can do whatever man <laughs> this room fucking sucks get me out of here man I'll do anything I'll like I'll like go to fucking church man if it means I don't have to do this shitty room anymore I'm over it I don't understand what am I doing wrong I think I gotta, like, stop, like, just charging at them. I think I gotta, like, let them come to me, and I gotta, like, slice them when the blue shows up. I can't even run! They're so fucking fast! I can't even run! I'm gonna lose my mind. This has to be, like, this is too much. This is too much. How goes the Metal Gears? Uh, it's going alright! Other than this room being a pain in my ass, it's going fine. Did you see how he dashed at me? The only real way of doing this room is via the box, and then reset when you get spotted. Man, that's like, like, if that's like basically the only way through, that's kind of just like lame as fuck. Like, dude, if I want to do a stealth section, I'll play the actual Metal Gear Solid. That seems weird to say, considering this is a Metal Gear Solid spinoff, but... I don't 
don't know, stealth sections in games that are not meant to be stealth games, like, fucking suck to me. And maybe some of them are, like, fine. But, like, any time, like, a non-stealth game has a stealth section, I just, like, I, like, I just get, like, a little, like, mad. Like, when Metal Gear Solid does it, it's like, yeah, that's fine. That's a stealth game. That's, like, the whole point. When Metal Gear Rising does it, it's like... But why, though? I want to hit people with the sword. I gotta get in there? Okay, actually, like, if I can just, like, get in through there, then, like, this section is actually not that bad at all. And I was being, like, a little bit of a baby. And I'll, I'll, I will take the L. I will. I think you may be able to see their vision cones if I use that visor thing. Okay. Okay, it's literally fine. You can just do that. <laughs> that was way easier. Why did I keep going up? If you can just, like, go down like that, why the... Man, I am dumb as hell. That's, like, that, that like, has to be, like... That's, like, way simpler than I was making it out to be. Like, bad gamer plays, like, easy section in, like, the worst possible way you can. Who spotted me? You spotted me? That section is really annoying. I mean, I don't know. I feel like once you know how to, like, get through with the box, like, easy, like, that, like, you just have to be a little patient, and then it's, like, super easy to just get by. I feel like, I feel like, I, like, I was making it way harder than it needed to be, partially because I was just simply going the wrong way. I think that's what it boils down to, is that I was simply going the wrong way. But also it does kind of suck that that's basically an insta-lose scenario. Like, if you, if you get caught, like, that's it. That's your stealth for the game. There we go. Took me a while to hit the heart. <laughs> okay, what am, <laughs> what am I doing in this section? I'm just killing the same guy over and over? Um. 
So where am I going? Am I going over here? No, that's uh that's nano paste. Um How did I do the AR vision I was doing? Oh, wait, I could use... That's what you meant. I could use that to see their sight lines. Right. I have discovered the entrance to the lab. Sending coordinates to your Soliton radar. You actually got into this room? All of them followed and you got ganged up on them at, when one of the flamethrower guys? That's fucked. That sounds like a goddamn nightmare. Oh, it's a hologram door. Literal hell scenario. I mean, honestly, though, I feel like that's a more winnable scenario than just the three of them, because theoretically, you could grab health from the flamethrower guys, because they're a little bit of a pushover. Alright, you, you, we have to open doors like people. This would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I... Wait, what? A dump? A digital optical <sighs> output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should survive. Yeah, sure, Doctor. Uh, Keep telling yourself that. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlay to control the proxy UG. All right. That's Let's the thing. Those shot. three will like stun lock you into be pretty much incapable of blocking or fighting against the flamethrower dudes. Fair. Fair. Right, right, right. I thought you said stealth ops were your special. I never said that. Don't put words into my mouth, man. What? Oh. I was like, did I clip into the damn floor? <laughs> It's the Metal Gear and his Nightmare Bullets! Uh -oh. Thought you said Stealth Ops was your specialty you said to the Cyborg Ninja Man constantly slaughtering another Cyborg with such violent fury it's scary? Oh fuck. I... yeah, I used up my pace. Sorry. I am kind of like a little ass at this game. That's fine. There are, there are worse games to be bad at than Metal Gear Rising. What's like the worst video game that you could be bad at? That's Cuphead. That's Cuphead because then you'd get like, lol, this guy's kind of like the Cuphead tutorial guy. This shit look like the Cuphead tutorial guy, honestly. 
Like that would be that would be the worst pain you could inflict upon someone. Have you guys heard about the the Cuphead tutorial guy? Damn, that guy couldn't beat the Cuphead tutorial. I bet you like, and if you didn't get good at Cuphead, that's who you would beat. You were gonna say Pong, but then you remembered you're bad at Pong. I don't know. I don't think there's like a a scene for Pong, so I think you're fine. I feel like it has to be a game that's, like, relevant. You know what I mean? Because then more people will care that you're bad at it. And then they'll be like, yo, what the hell, this person's bad at this? But it's also hard to say, because a lot of the popular, like... A lot of people who get popular on, like, Twitch.tv are usually, like, not good at video games, so... I guess it doesn't matter that much. It has to be, like, a competitive game. Yeah, you get competitive Pong and Evo. It's gotta be a competitive game, like a fighting game, because that's where- that's where you get, like, the maximum, like, toxicity. If you're bad. Damn, that is raw. I guess the question of what's the worst game to be bad at, I guess it would just depend on, like, what's considered the most toxic, like, competitive community. And, like, I think, like, some, like, I think, like, some people would say the easy answer is, like, Smash Brothers, but, like, Smash Brothers is, like, a party game first and a sec- uh, like, a competitive game second. So, I don't know. I feel like more people are willing to accept, like, someone being bad at Super Smash Brothers. I, we need, like, a toxic competitive scene for a game that is, like, you know, primarily competitive. Splatoon? I don't know. I Like, again, like, Splatoon is, like, a baby Nintendo game. I feel like you can more get away with being bad at Splatoon, and, like, people on the internet won't make fun of you. Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. It's like, it's like a very, like, specific scenario I'm imagining. Where you being bad at the game is, like, enough that, like, everyone on the internet fucking hates you for it. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. <laughs> It really does come down to is that it has to be, like, popular, but also, like, mostly popular with, like, competitive players. Because I was thinking, like, oh, what about Fortnite? But, like, Fortnite, you could just easily play casually and people won't give a shit. Nobody cares that much. I don't know, it's so hard to imagine. I feel like people being bad at video games is, like, just accepted. Yeah, I'm still thinking it has to be some fighting game. Playing Street Fighter V, but specifically as a character who isn't considered top meta. Probably best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. 
Fair enough. Dude, I just implanted my brain into that thing. Let's go. I forgot about this section. It is all ours. Now, use it to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. What the hell is that? It's a funny little guy. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. <laughs> really good noise that they make. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't care. Let's go. He was just like, yeah, that's the little guy going around. That's fine. Let's go. That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Raiden, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, Guess who shows Just up? like that there's That's three true. arms on that thing? Right away. Well, how else is it gonna move around, but also grab things? There's special VR missions where you can play as that little freak. That's awesome. This haircut sucks. Gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes, we'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Oh wait, it's that guy. Tecumse, right. Commanding mistress. You know him. America has suffered long enough. Oh yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? In it's funny, killer. Senator. Desperado's chief of operations. His haircut does suck from the back, the to be fair. Wildfire. The kids. For some Too reason, late. in my mind, he was bald. So out. having him ha have like a run. shitty haircut was like it was kind of like a mind yes. fuck to me. Maybe, but you heard what he said. It was they like a little mind equals blown moment. Training. I thought he was bald. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Thank you, Ace J TGK for the follow. I somehow butchered saying letters. Thank you. Mm. 
Alright. At least this is a much easier segment than fighting the UGs were. <laughs> fighting the UGs fucking suck. These cyborgs are like baby time. These evil little freaks? Yeah! Honestly, in a lot of video games, there's evil little freaks, to be fair. Like in Mario, you got like the Goombas. In TF2, you got the enemy team. I think my little guy might have already killed this one. The little freaks are mostly evil, but Raiden can hijack them. Yeah, I was wondering how that worked. Did, like, Raiden just, like, insert a USB into the thing's brain and, like, he could just control it now? You can- you can do all kinds of things with USB, to be fair. I mean, after all this time, we're still using USBs on our computers. Didn't, like, Apple try and take away a bunch of USB ports from, like, Macs and such, and people got, like, really mad about it? Because, like, what the hell are you supposed to do without, like, a USB port? Oh, everything's gonna be blue Bluetooth. No? That's not gonna happen. They did? Okay. If anyone was gonna do it, it was gonna be Apple. I'm still, like, pissed off that, like, Samsung followed suit with, uh, Apple and, like, took away the headphone jack. I mean, like, it's been justifying the fact that the headphones I have are Bluetooth, but it's still just, like, I miss being able to charge my phone and have, like, headphones plugged in at the same time. Your mom's laptop doesn't have a USB port on her laptop, only USB-C? Christ. Listen, USB-C is fine, but I don't think it's gonna, like, completely replace USBs anytime soon. No way. And I think, like, trying to force that to happen sooner, it's a- it's a bad play. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. It's like oh, Apple's God. still the richest company in the Thanks. world also. Better keep moving. Like, I know so little people who actually use, like, Apple products that the idea of Apple still being, like, the single richest corporation in the world is, like, that's, like, mental to me. That's, like, how, though. I guess at a point it was probably Facebook and maybe it's still Facebook. Now, I was playing the stream title song. Let's go. We're almost there. I'm gonna die. Yeah, let's use this real quick. Alright, I have a funny idea. Alright, I don't think my funny idea is gonna work. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> it did not. Okay. Bad news, the funniest idea you've done ever seen, it did not work. Fine. We had we had the pace. Now. 
As fucked up that Metal Gear is a universe where explosives basically do fuck all. do against this guy? This guy's armor is, like, insane. Dude, who's of nature? Let's go! There's gotta be, like, a opening. Wait, maybe it's the top thing. No. Maybe? Metal Gear is the universe where it's a great idea to cut an explosive with your thousand degree knife? True. True, though. Oh, wait, he has a health bar. Have I been actually, like, dealing literally any damage to this thing? I just gotta wait for his guard to be down. So, like, right after it attacks. Shout out to Blade Wolf for actually having 1000 degree knives. What was, like, with that trend? I, like, I didn't, like, see it a lot on YouTube, but I remember, like, it was, like, the big thing. Like, everybody on social media was posting, like, Oh my god, did you guys see the Thousand Degree Knife? I keep getting recommended videos of Thousand Degree Knives. And I'm just like... Not me, though. Cut through thing? True. Okay, to be fair, the grenade launcher, or the homing missile, rather, did do some damage. Ah! Fuck! Oh, yeah, there was no shot. With how low my health was, but... I started, I started to figure it out. No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> I just took 30 damage there. Fuck. Ow. Man, I'm fucking this up really bad. The political circus. Oh, fuck, is right in front of me. Okay, bye. Once I, like, slice one of its shields off, this should be, like, a lot easier. Whoop. It's fine. Guys, it's literally okay. What is on the shelf that I can't reach? Dude, Raiden is too short to reach the top shelf. <laughs> this is fucked. I'm actually, like, I'm really upset that Raiden is too short to get to the top shelf. It's, like, taunting me. Cut through thing? That's true. Well, he can't- he can reach the top shelf now. That's a repair nano pace, let's go! Turns out 
turns out in Metal Gear Rising, cutting through things is sometimes just the best thing to do. Ow. It's fine, the nano paste act acted automatically. I don't know how, but it did. Like how for the Ray fight, the chorus kicks in during a cool climactic moment, but with the way this fight works, it's just rules of nature's and then the grad is just walking. Man, I fucking suck at this fight. Okay, I think the problem is that I keep doing light attacks when basic- like, this guy only accepts strong attacks as his currency. I think that's the problem. I actually think that's why I was doing better on my first playthrough. Because I just, like, just spammed strong attacks rather than, like, knowing what a light attack is. Sorry for engaging with your mechanics, game. I thought that I could do light attacks more often. Like a, like a Bayonetta or something. No, it's not actually that big of a deal. I mean, I'm being a little facetious. You know, I, like, have a very, like, vivid memory of, like, this song in, like, a dream I had. I had a dream that was, like, a video that was called Rules of Funny. And it was, like, it was, like, this fucked up, like, I guess, like, YouTube poop of, like, an amazing atheist video. Where he was just, like, talking to the camera. And then, like, when, when the Rules of Nature hits... It says, rules of- and then in like a really fucked up, like, compressed voice, it says, funny. And then, like, the amazing atheist, like, starts dancing. I don't know why also I imagined rules of funny, like, my subconscious imagined rules of funny as, like, a amazing atheist video. <laughs> it's the only time that the amazing atheist has ever been in a dream of mine. <laughs> I also found out later that, like, I'm pretty sure it was, like, I had that dream because of, like, a YouTube video I saw. Because there, there was, like, a YouTube video I watched that was basically just the dream I had. It, there was, like, some slight differences, but by and large, like, what I just described, like, that shit is uploaded to YouTube.com. We have the technology, we can make that real. Coming at you in 2023, first stream of the year is gonna be Rules of Funny. I died. It's fine, we figured out the strat now. We figured out the strat. For bosses, just go go for strong attacks exclusively. Your 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 light attacks are not gonna work on them. I don't know how to explain it, but this game is giving you vibes of Dirge of Cerberus. I believe it. I don't know, like, anything about, like, post-FF7, like, Final Fan- or, like, post-FF7, like, original, like, FF7 chronology games. I still want to get fucking FF7 Remake, but it's, like, $70 on Steam, which is fucking bullshit. I'm never spending that much money on any video game ever. Hello, Mark II Grande. Or grenade. Welcome. Carriage of Cerberus is the Vincent game? Yeah. 
the vampire. Vampire. Is this first time playing? Uh, this is second playthrough. I've only played this game before once. Get this guy out. Although I fucking suck enough at this game that this might as well be a first playthrough. <laughs> when was that? Um, sometime last year. I don't remember exactly. And to be fair, I might have been playing on an easier difficulty. I'm like, I'm enough of an adult where I can admit I probably played this game for the first time on easy. And now that I'm playing on normal, it's like messing me up more. Although I'll never know because Steam Cloud removed my damn save file. Fuck you, Steam. Get this gun out of here. We're almost there. I think we're probably gonna die again, though. Do I know how to block? Oh, I know how to parry. I don't know how to block. I died. I think, like, what what is the block in the game? Because that would be, like, insane tech to know. Was block something you had to buy? Was it? Maybe. Maybe that's why I don't know how to block. Let me get the other health real quick. Ow. Block is a parry, though. A parry is a block, but timed perfectly. Got it. I gotta be doing more damage to this guy if I'm gonna be, like, losing entire health bars. Ow. God damn it. Alright, you know what? We're going- we're going with the- we're gonna do sub-weapons again for a bit. I did three damage to him, let's go. Give it up for three damage. I, I I don't even know what happened there. I need him to stop like dashing towards me. Fuck. out of hiding. Coward. There we go. This is the second most easy boss. I'm going to assume Mistral was the first one. We got through Mistral like pretty quickly. All things considered. We can go blade mode on this crew. First is hell. Okay, true. The helicopter was baby time. Helicopter couldn't do shit to us. Honestly, it, like, genuinely, I forgot the helicopter was a boss again. Because it's, like, the least boss-like enemy in this game. I think unless I, like, 
play absolutely insane here, like, this run is over. He's just sliding. I think I fucked up. Oh no, wait, I got one! Mistral is fourth? Mm hmm. Wait, what is this? Oh, I forgot to get the nano pa Let's fucking go! Wait! I forgot the nano paste, which means we actually have, like, way more health. I gotta, like, jump up here. We're so close. We're so damn close. Not working. It's fine. Next boss is third hardest boss. Uh oh. Combat rank D. First time the game has told me fuck off. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong, as in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Ryden, no. I know what you're thinking, and just no. Colorado is in no. America. Yes. And America no. has these things called laws. Mm hmm And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters, for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin, out! I don't know, give a shit. What? <gasps> Damn! They coming out with the explosives. I barely have any health right now. That's fine. Steal a little bit from you. Raiden says just kill them all. Literally. It's that easy, forehead. Just kill them. Cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. You got it, Doctor. Hack into the mainframe. 
I don't remember which boss took me the longest time when I first played this game. <laughs> Everything's taking me an excruciatingly long time this time, though. I'm playing like shit. That's fine. Just play better later, to be honest. Shit. Hey, stop right there. George. Right in. You've heard of chloroform? A potent anesthetic in smaller doses. Breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide, the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. I didn't. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ching! What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Cállate! Let's go. We did it. Chapter two done. I'm sorry, I just got taken aback <laughs> by my combat ranks. And nice, nice bold letters. <laughs> Ass. <sighs> Fucking hell. Alright, whoa. What the heck? Okay, yeah, this was an eight-hour game. All right, Doctor, turn off my ass inhibitors. <laughs> How many chapters were there? There were seven. So we did like the first three. We did the prologue and then the two chapters afterwards. Um, I guess next time we'll try and do the other five, if possible. I would go for a little longer. I usually don't like to end the stream before the four hour mark, but I have work at nine in the morning tomorrow. So I have to get to bed soon. Cause I wake up pretty early for that. I like to shower and get my breakfast in. You know how it is. We got the mariachi uniform, let's go. I guess we'll upgrade Raiden real quick while we're in the middle of chapters. Customize Raiden's body. But yeah, it's good to be back. It really is. And I, I, I want to thank you all for joining me for tonight. Uh, more MGS Rising next week. Awesome. So cool. 
All right. Good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I might do this next Tuesday instead of Monday if my work schedule is the same, which it has been. My work schedule has been about the same for the past few weeks. We'll see if it stays that way. Um, but that is going to be it for tonight's stream. I want to thank you all for coming. Hope you all have a good night and take care. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a hat in time. We're going to be starting our full time pieces playthrough. Wednesday, I'm not streaming, but Thursday when we come back, we'll be doing TF2. Friday will be Mario Kart Wii Custom Track GP. And then Saturday, we'll be doing a Wii Power Hour. We'll be doing Wii Music plus Wii Play Motion. But, um, yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow with some Hat in Time. Bye-bye. <laughs>